Molecular Genetics, DNA, Alashmuk. We are here with Dr. Ruth Tenen to talk about molecular genetics here at Shmup Global Headquarters in Mountain View, California. Um, uh, Dr. Ruth here uh, is a PhD at trying to cure cancer. So if you ever want to make your parents really proud of you, follow in her footsteps because like, I can't think of much better on earth to do with your life. Um, so uh, let's just jump right into lesson one here. Um, and we're going to cover genetic code and DNA RNA structure. Um, so Dr. Ruth, like, what, what does DNA stand for? Like, I can't even spell it. Yeah, so DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Um, so all the letters are in there somewhere. Um, nucleic acid is basically uh, any polymer or any group of molecules in your cells that are con uh, composed of nucleotides. So it has three parts. It has a base made of nitrogen, it has a phosphate group, and it has a sugar. Okay, so we got to back you up. Right. Polymer. Polymer. That's many mer. Yes, many, that's exactly it. So it's basically you have one unit of molecule and then you string a bunch of them together. So it's a monomer like to a polymer. Exactly. It's just like beads. Okay, yep. cool. Uh, there were a couple other five though. Now, what is what is a phosphate group? I'm thinking you go to that old style Coca-Cola stand with a hot dog and a shake. Yeah, well, sort of, I guess, like that. No, so phosphate group basically has a phosphorus and some oxygen um, atoms in it, and it forms the backbone of the DNA. So basically, it's all along the outside of the DNA molecule, and they link up together to form the chain. Got it. And a nitrogen base, like what, what kind of nitrogen's a, a Nitrogen is another atom. Yep, atom. Exactly. And, mm -hmm. and and what is its its base? The ATC is adenine, thiosine, cytosine, guanine. If I remember oh, yeah. from high school uh -huh. a million years ago. Yep. Thank you very much. If you can break down the the word for us, um, what is deoxy? No longer oxy. No longer. That's exactly it. It means it's missing an oxygen. So basically, in the sugar molecule that's part of the nucleotide. Um, in RNA, there's an extra oxygen compared to DNA. So deoxy basically means missing an oxygen. Got it. And ribo or ribo, that's something to do with like Eve and Adam. And... So ribose is just a type of sugar. Ah, yep. okay. All right. Um, and then nucleic, the nucleus is the... Yeah, so it's the same idea as that. Yep, basically it's in the nucleus, it's make, made up of these nucleotides. Got it. Okay. Um, so deoxyribo tells us that it's DNA, not RNA, because the sugar is missing an oxygen molecule. Is that right? Yep. Yay. Okay, so that's what DNA stands for. That's what comprises DNA. But what is DNA? Like, what, what does it do for us? How does it function other than to confuse high school children? So it's actually super important. So it's basically the biological blueprint that makes us who we are. So it contains all our genetic information. We get half of our DNA from our mom, half from our dad, and then every time our cells divide, the DNA gets split into the two cells, so it kind of keeps going through all the different um, cells. Got it. And w what is its primary function? Like, like, walk us through the creation of the code of proteins and how that kind of builds a human being, or at least... Sure, yeah, so in basic terms, basically, so you start with the DNA, you get 23 chromosomes from your mom, 23 from your dad, so that's 46 total. Um, and then the DNA codes for an intermediate called RNA um, through a process called transcription. And the RNA gets turned into proteins, ultimately. And proteins are kind of the workhorses in your cells. They do all the work. They form the structures in your body. They do all the enzyme processes. So they give you all your traits. They kind of can have things to do with your personality, your appearance, all sorts of things. What does DNA stand for? What is DNA?